Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, City of Romance, Case 8, Dress to be Killed. Let's a lock, walk on the wild side, number 3. Well, Katarina, we can feel good about catching Justine Collier's killer. He was a dangerous guy, and I hope he gets the help he needs. But now back to the matter at hand. We came to be God to look into a possible animal smuggling ring. The tip-off originally directed us to possible dealings at Voyeur, where we found Collier's body. And after that, we were sidetracked by the murder investigation. Corporal Katarina, I saw something at Voyeur for your animal smuggling case. When you have a moment, I can tell you what I saw. Excellent, Brigadier Bonnet. We'll be glad to hear it. Katarina, I like your opinion about something. It's not urgent, though. No problem, Carrie. Katarina, you better get talking to Brigadier Bonnet and Carrie before you before your to-do list gets any longer. Okay. All right, officer. Brigadier Bonnet. Tell us about this animal smuggling happening at Voyeur. Well, when you and Katarina took the murder case, I knew you wouldn't have time to look into the animal smuggling, so I went undercover and did some re reconnaissance. After you and Hugo left Voyeur, I saw people coming and going in the shafts' back entrance and meeting with the owner. Deliveries? Yes, but also taking things away. And all the boxes these people carry had holes in them. I thought that was strange. A box where they, where they could keep animals. It is strange. Sex toys don't need air holes. Animals would though. Great work. But we'll need more concrete evidence of these claims before we confront Fabrice. I knew he was involved somehow. You could check the street outside Boyo as it's the path all the delivery people took. And Katarina, while I was out there, I found a lot of loose change. You could put it to work, crack in this case. Okay. Okay, now, Carrie, what do you need? Katarina, Enzo has been acting strange around me recently. Have you noticed? I think he's in love with you. He keeps asking me what food I like, what drinks I like, dropping very unsubtle hints. Do you think he's trying to ask me out? I think he does. I'll admit I've been eyeing him too. He's handsome and charming. A little overconfident sometimes, but I can be endearing. When I saw him earlier, he said I can help you find paradise. I'll see you there. Then later he said, you know, they serve cocktails in paradise. Katarina, you and Hugo went to a bar called Paradis Spare during your investigation, didn't you? Do you think Enzo's trying to get me to go to that bar? He definitely seems that way to me. Katarina, let's go to the bar and do a little slotting to get some answers. He tried to ask you out. Alright, let's look outside first. Let's go to streets. Katarina, what is this thing you found? It's like a leather paddle or something. Maybe it's for animal training, like how lion timbers used to have whips. 
There's a stain on it. Maybe if we collect a sample, we can find out what it's for. Okay. And I thought that was one of the sex toys. <laughs> All right, let's go to lounge bar. See if Enzo's waiting for us there. for you, Carrie. Katrina, this bouquet of flowers, do you think it's from Enzo? There's a card on it that's faded. Could be some kind of mystery or scavenger hunt Enzo's putting me on. It's kind of romantic, actually. Well, that's one thing he knows about me, is that I love mysteries. Let's see what's written on this card. Okay. Okay, now let's collect this stain from the paddle. Get the sample you took from a battle to the lab for testing. That's right. Okay, now it's just a faded card from Enzo. We can make up for lost time. Mon etrage. What? The card with the bouquet says we can make up for lost time, Mo and Trashe. For starters, it's partially written in English. And secondly, it says Mon and Trashere, which is a feminine form of stranger or foreigner. I'm a woman from the United States, so I'm an intershare. And I'll bet lost time means Enzo's wanted, wanted to ask me out for a long time. That's definitely the vibe I've gotten, anyway. So the bar is called Paradis Perdu, or Paradise Lost, and this note refers to lost time. This must be some kind of riddle. We're going to need some help figuring this out. Jean-Philippe is good at riddles. Let's ask him what he thinks. Okay. <laughs> what is this green substance? Katarina? Enzo claimed he's very busy, so I did the analysis on the sample you took from the spanking paddle. Yeah, he's busy with Carrie. Ugh, spanking cat paddle? Yes, just like the ones I use in my dominatrix work. What did you think it was? Uh, we thought it might be for training animals, like a lion tamer's whip. And, and I didn't, I thought that was a saying, a sex toy. Well, you weren't, a f you weren't far off, because this paddle has definitely been near some animals. The stuff you took from it contains fats and enzymes from cheetah milk, plus additional vitamins. Basically, baby food for baby cheetahs. There's more of them? Like, for instance, the baby cheetahs got to be in that shady apartment in Mormont. Precisely like those adorable little fuzzballs, less parmino. Well, I can tell you this baby cheetah food is enough evidence for us to interrogate Fabrice. Let's go. I knew you were involved. Now the mysterious card, hmm? Hello, Jean-Philippe. Any luck deciphering the mysterious note I got on that bouquet of flowers from Enzo? 
Um, yes, actually. I know exactly what this note means. Awesome! What is Enzo trying to tell me? Actually, Enzo, Enzo isn't trying to tell you anything. This note is from Celestial Loot to me. What? What? How do you know? I recognize this lipstick smudge. It's Celestia's color. And Entranger is a reference to my drag persona, Elf von Schlepp. I was, actually, I was actually about to go to the Paradis Bear du Bar to meet Celesti. She's going to transform me into Elki. And we are going out for a night on the town. <laughs> oh, Katarina. I guess I was wrong about Enzo setting up a date tonight. I feel so stupid. No need to feel stupid, Carrie. Hello, why don't you and Katarina join us for some drinks? Thank you, Jean-Philippe. I could use a drink right about now. Come on, Katarina. Let's go say hi to Celeste. <laughs> okay, let's be serious now and go to Fabrice. You got some explaining to do. Monsieur Dufour, can you tell us why this palette from your shop has food for a baby cheetah on it? Baby cheetahs? Spanking paddles? Sounds kinky, Corporal Katarina. Don't tiptoe around the subject, Monsieur Dufour. We know you've been exchanging packages possibly containing animals. Animal smuggling is a serious offense. Your whole operation here will shut down. Okay, okay. I can't afford to lose my business. I'd be serious a go between for some of these animal smugglers. But I want out. Please, I never meant to get wrapped up in this. If you can help me break my ties with them and keep my business, I can give you a lead. We're listening. I'm supposed to drop off a briefcase at the airport. You can take the briefcase and make the drop for me. And I'll put you in contact with them. We'll see what we can do, Monsieur Dufour. Copa Katarina, let's get that briefcase. Thank you, Copa Katarina. And all this talk about secret dealings has made me too nervous to eat my dinner. You can have it. Thank you. Alright, let's meet with Celeste now. Hello, Corporal Katarina. And this must be the ravishing carry I heard about. Ravishing? What do you mean? Who have you heard that from? You have an admirer, dear. A handsome hunk of a man named Enzo, I believe. He was just here. Really? Enzo told you about me? Yes, he did. As I said, he was just here. Um, I said Enzo was just here. <laughs> ah, my shitty Carrie, you arrived. Are you naked? We'll leave you to your date. And here's a little something in case you feel like spicing things up. Enzo, what an elaborate setup for a date. What do you mean? Getting Celeste involved and having her write that note for Jean-Philippe, but that was actually a sneaky way to get me to come here. I didn't expect any of this. Oh, I didn't recognize any of that. Sure, I dropped some hints about pa paradise. But I knew that if I was here, with my shirt off, my pure animal magnetism would draw you to me. No woman can resist me, least of all you. I knew I had you from the moment I saw you. Huh, that's funny because I didn't think anyone had me. I am my own person. You're fooled by your own desires. I see that it's hard for you to admit how badly you want me. And it's getting harder to admit by the second. And so, 
Put your shirt back on. I don't think I'm in the mood for a date tonight. But we are just getting started. Well, time flies when you're not having fun. I'll see you back at the station. Uh, that's probably because Enzo kept talking about himself. That's not what you do. You don't talk about... Man, you don't talk about yourself. You ask questions to your date. Like, how was your day? Day or something. Uh, anyway, let's go pick up the briefcase. I was hoping to see Jean-Philippe dressed up like a drag queen again. Here's the briefcase. Katarina, this is the briefcase Fabrice said he's supposed to deliver to animal smugglers at the airport tomorrow. It doesn't seem like he was lying, but let's get this thing open and make sure it's not just full of dildos or something. Of course, we'll open it. Okay, let's unlock the briefcase. Money. Katrina, there's a ton of money in this briefcase and a note that says FD, bring the briefcase to Roy CDJ tomorrow at 7 p.m. FD of a breeze to forces and this shows, so this was definitely meant for him. Roy CDG is one of the airports near Paris. So Fabrice was said to deliver a lot of money to the animal smuggler at the airport. Well, now when the smuggler shows up to collect, we'll be there instead. Yes. <laughs> well, Katarina, that day with Enzo was a colossal failure. I knew he was a little full of himself, but I didn't know it was that sever. Judging from what Katarina told me, Carrie, I wonder if Enzo has such a strong crush on you that he felt he had to overcompensate. That could be. It's a bit childish, really. I'm just sad there wasn't more there. I had a bit of a crush on him, too. But what a goofball! We'll have to grow up before anything could happen between us. Well, why are you waiting for that to happen? We got a lead on our animal smugglers. Fabrice Dufour acted as a go-between in their dealings, but he wants out. Well, act in his place, delivering a briefcase full of cash at the airport tomorrow night. That's when we'll catch our animal smugglers. Get ready, Katarina. Tomorrow is a big day. Yes. We're gonna get you now. And somebody's going to die as always. Come on, let me click on it. Yeah, that's why airport is in attraction. Now I see. Alright, we gotta stop here. We gotta continue playing in case number 9 in attraction. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video. And I'll see you again. Goodbye.